Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is a video related to the um, series that I have right now on Payload CMS, which I've kind of put on hold since Payload CMS 2.0 is coming out next week. And there might need to be some changes made to that content to reflect what's been done in Payload 2.0. But I've already had this written. It's sitting here and I was planning on dropping it. So I'm just going to put it out anyway. Hopefully the changes that are required will be just to the uh, back end and not to the front end. This is a video on how to connect Nuxt to your Payload CMS, specifically focusing on authenticating a user. Like I said, I was going to do more, but since I know Tool is coming out, I'll wait to do more with the actual content in the next video, along with making any necessary changes to get Nux authentication to work properly with Payload CMS backend. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, links below to the previous videos in the series, specifically the first one, which talks about how I set up the um, uh, backend, basically how I got my CMS up and running. Okay, so what we do here is I've already created an account there on that mail.com. I want to be able to log in. I want to be able to save that login session. Uh, so when I come back, I don't have to log in again. And I also want to be able to clear all my cookies and log out. So we'll start out with logging in. Now, submit. I've logged in. You can see this is all of the information on the user that I just logged in as. And you can see here I have my browser open and you can see I have this payload token, I, my um, secure HTTP cookie, which got passed along. So now because I have the cookie, I can just um, do an empty cache hard refresh of the page. The cookie is still there. So as you can see, it let me back into the application and I have all the information related to the user when I sign out. I'm back to my login page, so I don't have a user. You can see my cookie has been cleared. And if I try to get to my index page, which requires a user, I just get redirected back to login. So it does what I wanted it to do. So how did I make all this work? This is where we take a look at the code. So I bounced around with a couple of different approaches. Also, just to let you know from the configuration perspective, I am running SSR. The UI was built with um, Nuxt UI, which is pretty awesome. You should definitely check it out. Um, it's pretty cool. It can be extended. It's Tailwind based. So I highly encourage you to check it out. So the way I solve this is with a plugin. So I have my plugin numbered with 0 0.1, which means I know it'll get, this will be the first plugin that's run, which is what I want because when the, when the application first launches, the first thing I want to do is figure out if I have a user. Everything's based on whether or not I have a user or not. So what my plugin does is it basically checks for a user at startup and it saves, I'm just a high level version. It checks for a user startup and saves the current user information and this user auth information. This is the token and the expiration time, which I will use later when I figure out my strategy for refreshing my token. But for now, I'm just capturing those two values here. Um, I have my get user function, which makes the API call to get my user. And then in my plugin, I return my current user. I return the information around the token and the expiration date. I have a function to basically set the user, which I call after I log in. Because I don't have login inside of my plugin, I probably should. But since I don't, I call this function after I log in to set my user information here. Because remember, we need to get this current user set and the user auth info set. And then clear user, which if I move my log out here, I wouldn't need this also, I wouldn't need this function either because clear user basically clears out all the user information after you log out of payload on the back end. Uh, for people who aren't familiar with the plugin, once you set up your plugin like this and you do this provide, you will have access off of Nux app to a plug to the plugin and you get access to it to dollar sign payload auth. And we'll see that in action. So the plugin will attempt to set up my user from payload CMS. And then what controls access to the pages is the middleware. And so let's take a look here at my middleware. My, and this is an example of I call use Nux app. I get my plugin dollar sign payload auth and you can see everything that's been exposed to it, my current user, my current user, my auth user, the function to update the user, and the function to clear the user. So I have access to them. So what I do in my middleware here is I 
access my plugin, I get my current user, and I get my current user value. And I sign it to user, probably don't need to do it, but I just like to do it for clarity. Um, I log my user, this is for testing. And then here, it's real simple. If I don't have a user, go to the login page. There's a bunch of other things you could do here. That's left as an exercise to the student, as my teacher used to always say. But for now, this just checks if you have a user. And then if you look at my pages that I'm working with, my index page right now is the only page I have, up at the top, I use this um, page meta and I set my middleware to auth so I know that it basically tells Nux, hey, you gotta go through the auth middleware before you render this page. And let's start with the beginning of the application. So we covered my payload, we covered auth, but also let's just touch again on what's happening here. So what's, as you saw, when you're doing your login, it was dropping that cookie. And that cookie is very important to make things work because what happens is use request headers will ensure that the headers that were used on the server, the headers that are used on the client, they basically get passed back and forth. So that is what's making sure that all of these API calls are leveraging the cookie, right? So I don't need to use a token. I don't need to do anything magical. Nuxt is making sure that the server side and the client side, if there's any cookies or any information getting passed around that both sides have access to them. That's what the use request header is doing there. And you definitely need it for the customer me because this call will fail. And for every other API call you make, you will need access to the cookies that were passed around or else those calls will fail because the cookies provide the authorization. The login provides the authentication, the cookies provide the authorization. So that's what we got going on there. All right, so we discussed our payload, we discussed our auth middleware. Let's, since we did mention index already, let's come back to index and talk about what's happening here. We've already said that it has to go through the auth. If the auth doesn't find the user, it will redirect back to the login page. If it does find the user, it lets us in. Here we're using the use Nuxt app again to get our plugin. And then from our plugin, you can see up here we have access to the current user and we're just rendering the current user in, in the page for now. Uh, what else happens here? We have our logout button. As I discussed before, our logout button, logout doesn't require any cookies or anything to run. It's just gonna try to find a user and log the user out. And then here I clear the user and then redirect back to the login page. And now let's briefly talk on, about what's going on in the login page. If we go in the login page, um, there's a bunch of stuff in here because I was playing around with uh, Nux Authentic uh, Nux UI and Nux UI has, let's scroll over, it has some built in um, field validation. So if I delete this password here, it, it gives me the little warning that this field is required and it's not going to let me really submit or do anything because this is a required field. And so um, just wanted to show what that was. So when you look at the code, you'll understand what's going on there. And then, so let's go back to the code. I'm not gonna kind of go through all of this stuff on the on how the validation and all the other stuff works. It was just here, something for you to look at. Maybe I'll, co I'll cover it more as I expand the application. On the login, just the login, this your normal payload login call, include credentials, pass in any request headers that we have previously. We check for our error message, we render, throw an error if there's an error, otherwise we let them through. And then we update the user in our plugin so that we have the current user information in our plugin, which is what is being leveraged in our auth middleware. And we already covered logout and showed how that cleared out the cookies. And that's really what I got for now. Like I said, I don't wanna to go too much further on this until we see what comes out in 2.0. And then in 2.0, we'll add some more collections, we'll do some relationships, we'll do some access stuff. And we'll try to do it on both view and Nuxt. And I did get someone ping me about React, so we might try to drop some React stuff in there. Like I said, I'll include the links below to the whole video series I have so far. Hopefully you enjoy this. Please make sure you like and subscribe and leave any comments below if you'd like. Thanks and bye.